So I hear this game sounds pretty neat. It got its Kickstarter, and I figured, why not? So I'm here, and here's Jordan. Yep, hey, hey. Another demonstration, and we are looking at Spindle. Uh, I heard bits and pieces of this game, and I may have seen a couple bits of gameplay, but I heard that uh, you know the Kickstarter had launched, I, or has launched, or has been launched. I don't know, but... I hear this game sounds really neat, and uh, some other devs have been backing this and uh, giving it some attention, and I thought, yeah, why not? So I asked the devs on Twitter, actually, if they would be interested in letting us try out their demo for a demonstration. They said, yeah, go ahead. So I figured, why not? So here we go. Let's start this game. Yeah. I know you have a pig companion, so... That immediately puts it above and beyond. In this short demo, there is a checkpoint you will restart from in case you die. Your progress will be, not be saved when you exit the demo. Well, this is just going to be a straight shot, so we'll see. I like the fact one of those companies called Let's Game Dev. Yeah. I, <laughs> hey, when you have a company out there that's called That Game Company... The name, the naming conventions are broad. And the pig talks to you. We little loinker. All right, so I'm apparently like yeah. this... Uh, skull face. Yeah, skull-faced guy. Yeah, bonehead, all right. Oh, wow. All right, no attack button yet. I'm going to assume I get a weapon at some point. I am liking the graphical style of this. It's very simple, and I like that. Yeah. You know what it's reminding me of? It's uh, reminding me of, like, uh, A Link to the Past, but if it had the, uh, if it had more animated uh, movement in regards to being affected by wind and such. Does yeah. that make sense? Essentially, if they made the game with modern hardware. Yeah, 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 yeah. And not in, like, the HD 2D sense. Oh, hell yeah, no. Nah. But, yeah, this this looks nice. But yeah, this is a game that does not let you explore the tutorial. Yeah, uh, I was just curious on if whether or not it can interact with that. Yeah, just follow the pig. No dice, but to get in somehow. Anything in the door? Oh, something's on the other side of that. Come up with something else. Nothing in the grass. Cemetery of Mar. Alright, so maybe that thing you could interact with in the other areas, but you gotta grab now. Yeah, likely. Devs, if you're watching this video, here's an idea for a Kickstarter goal, or some kind of goal in the future after your game's out. A plush of the pig. Yes, I would totally like a plush of the pig. Like, plushes are pretty much a super popular type of, uh, of uh, merch for any kind of game, so making a plush of your cute little pig mascot? Yes. Yes. Mm. No doubt. Always a yes. Always a yes. Oh, hello. There was an earthquake tonight, and I heard screams coming from the cemetery when I went to check. Found him lying there on the ground. He's the mayor and all that, but I can't imagine why he would go there since the night. Boy, something evil. He's been incre an incredible pain ever since. I'm out of ideas. Should have already died by now. Say what? You have to go to the cemetery. I don't think it was a good idea, but if you insist... Very Zelda vibes. A little bit. I mean, I think more of it's coming from the top-down perspective than anything else, though. If the art style to me doesn't scream Zelda, but you got heart tanks, you got a map. I don't know, I just feel like 
Zelda never has this music or art direction. If that makes sense. That's true. We'll see when you get into combat. Yeah, we'll see. This is worse than I expected. We have to find out what's going on. Break open those uh, flowers. Pull the lever, Crunk. I uh, I can't pull the lever. I accidentally f walked off the edge, and now uh, and now I broke my shin. I can't make, I can't poison Cusco. I cannot do an impersonation of Crunk. That I just can't. Yeah, I, I can tell. Wow. That like that. I can do impersonations of many things, but that is a no-no on me. Okay, so I grabbed a thing, and it's like a fragment of the pig's power? Or is it a fragment of my power? Okay, it's my power. And I have a scythe now. Cool. Okay, so yeah, this might be kind of Zelda-esque. Oh god, yeah. Yeah, look at... Yeah. Okay. But can oh. you charge and do a spin attack? No. Alright. What I'm going to assume is spin attack may be a thing that gets unlocked. Probably. Kind of like the techniques in uh, Minish Cap. That's what it is. I'm getting reminded of Minish Cap. Oh, yeah. Now that I see that boss door, this is definitely Zelda inspired. Yeah, I am definitely being reminded of Minish Cap looking at all this, which is not a bad thing, let me tell you, because Minish Cap is my favorite mo uh, mobile Zelda game, so... Or not mobile, but handheld. Yeah. So it looks to me like I need to do this. Yeah, this looks very much Zelda inspired. Yeah, it's puzzly. Okay, yeah, we. Okay. Not that that's a bad thing. No. I, I'm Let's face liking... it. Zelda is Nintendo's like biggest series aside from Mario for a reason. And Fire Emblem to a large extent. Especially recently. Eh, God damn it. Recently, but until very recently, let's face it, no one gave that series the time of day. Fair enough. Without the 3DS, that would probably have never reached the West well. I know. It's it's just... It's kind of hard to ignore this franchise now. But in yeah. any case, this game looks like it's going to be inspired by a lot of the uh, sprite-based Zelda games. And honestly... I'm here for it. This is nice. nice. It's Pretty cute. Cool. It's cute, and I like it. I just like the pig. <laughs> you like the pig. I like just the general vibe. Yeah. I will never not enjoy pigs. I mean, they are adorable and delicious. Yep. And now you fight armadillos. Oh, hello. Monster part. In the real game, you'll surely need them. <laughs> All right. I like that they're actually saying, like, yeah, this is the demo version, so don't don't worry too much about what these items are for. Yeah, there's a crafting system. It's not for you to worry about yet. Yeah, pretty much. Yay, boss key. All right, golden key. Hit the black goo, yeah. Yeah. Ain't nothing happening. Yeah, nothing's happening. Looks like it's just um, a general ambient evilness. Okay, so mo oh, monster parts are just its own currency. Okay, yeah. got it. I was wondering if like monster parts would come in like different varieties. I mean, they may later, like depending on what you slay. Well, I'm thinking they might end up being used as like an inventory thing for it's like, hey, pay this amount of money and this amount of monster parts for me to make you a potion, stuff like that. Yeah, I think that would make sense. Find like a witch or an alchemist later. All right, boss time. Yep. Oh, that! Oh, that is freaky looking. I like it. Ooh.
Yeah, definite Zelda. Yeah, totally. Again, not a bad thing. I, I actually no. like this a lot. Yeah, this reminds me of that N64 boss when you're in the volcano. Yeah, 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 where you'd have to throw the bombs in his mouth. Yep. But you don't have bombs here, so you just gotta wait till it dizzies itself and then hit it. Yeah. If anything, I'm actually reminded more of a uh, of a boss in Minish Cap, uh, one where you had to like flip his shell onto his back. I don't know. I, I'm... There we go. You just gotta work on your range. Yeah, I'm, I'm messing up my range a little bit. Yeah, getting in a little close. Although there is collision on the big guy for the little ones. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna wait till the little ones uh, fall over and then I'll just get some health off of those. It's probably why that he spawns them. Yeah. God damn it. But in I... order to get health off of them, you can't run into them first. Yeah. Again, collision. I need to not mess that up. God damn it. Hit him. Oh. This is why I don't play bullet hells. This is why I should take over for things like this. No. Because all I... you're doing is giving me anxiety. No, I just... I'm messing up my collision. I'm messing up my pros my perspective on collision. Oh god, please don't spawn three. Uh, there it goes. First death. Uh... Yeah, I, I, that was the collision, mostly. Yeah, uh, like you're just running right into their hurt box. I know that that was that was me being bad at the video game. Who'd have thunk? It's okay, man. Just take it slow. Stay a step back. Just tip them. Just use the tip, man. I can't. I'm not a Marth main on Smash Bros. Get good. Play Marth. You're a Fire Emblem fan. It's only natural. Other than that, the music's pretty good. Yeah, it is pretty good. Almost reminds me of Donkey Kong 64. Oh, God. Like Banjo Kazooie, that blah, 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 blah. Yeah, like Grant Kirko stuff. Yeah. Or Kirk Hope. Sorry. I think it's Kirkold. But yeah. Hey. Oh man, I hope you're still there, but the screen just froze on me. Oh. There we go. Alright, cool, cool. Yeah. Never mind. Okay. Guild up. Damn it! Oh, the collision. Well, at least if you just touch them, usually one ball's enough to, like, get you back where you started. Yeah, I just need to not choke. Hopefully. Yeah. Like, just don't go in for hugs. Yeah. It, it's because it's like... I either think the range is shorter than I expected, or the range is longer than I thought it would be. Like, you ever have that problem yeah. sometimes with attacks where it's like, you misread the, you continuously misread the uh, length of the attack that you're doing? Oh yeah, totally. That's... I think this game has a pretty good attack from what I'm seeing. Like, it seems to be right in the sweet spot. Yeah. But it... that makes it a little hard to gauge sometimes until just, you get used I'm to it. I'm just misjudging the range. Yeah. Okay, now he's mad. Change color. He mad. Yep. Zelda rule one. Is he dead? There you go. Hey, so. there we go. You got him. Got him. Took a try, but I did it. I severed something. Some kind of string, so a string of fate, maybe? Possibly. I 
Ooh, ghost. Hello, boy. Thank you. You released me from my torment. I'm finally free. Oh, so the old man mm. was dead. His spirit was just uh, locked into that monster. Intriguing. Give you the last spark of my life force. And that's my heart container. Okay. So I guess I'm acting as like a grim reaper of some kind. Makes sense. Yeah. You really did well. And you could probably already guess, I am death. My strength was destroyed and I can only transfer my essence into this pig. My strength is split into five parts, but you've already found one of them. We have to find the other parts too. This is where the demo ends. You can now freely explore the area and discover one or two other secrets. If you enjoyed Spindle Demo, we would we would be thankful for your support. All right, well, I'm going to take a small look around the other areas in the uh, town just to see if there's anything else that I might have missed. Because I'd like to see these aforementioned secrets. Yeah, I know you would. But yeah, I like this. This game's cute. Yeah. I enjoy looking at it. Okay, door's locked. I'm chopping wood, leave me alone. This music's nice. It's very jaunty. Alright, what is this? Just a rock. Oops. Alright, let's check out over here real quick. Oh, hello. Are we going to get a fishing mini game? Hmm. 10 out of 10, hopefully. If you want Can to you fish, pet just the dog? Let us pet the pig. I guess that's something else that you ought to do. There is a fishing mini game. Yup. That's, that's totally you. Yep, definitely me. Controls are actually pretty good. As long as they don't do one of those crazy bars like Star do, where you can't ever center the thing. I awkwardly look off to the side, being able to actually control that Star do very well. Oh god, I hate that thing. So I can much. control it all right. It's. Oh man, I hate you it. Just, you just have to make sure you don't hold the bar too long. Okay, how do I? Does it say the controls? I mean, I guess whatever your attack or action is is probably how you do it. Or maybe talk to the dude right there. Maybe he'll tell you. So maybe press A again once they're on the line. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. Looks like you were fighting a little there. Yeah. Maybe mash it. Probably, yeah. Like, I... Yeah, like, you're moving it back already. Okay, yeah, it's mashing it. Oh, but I have to keep an eye on the line because of slack. That's right. Okay, so you see, I like that idea already better. Damn it. Yeah, so as soon as it starts to change to, like, a dark gray before the red, you need to let go for a second, give it some slack, and you're tiring it out. Yeah, essentially. Yeah, like, that that's pretty simple right there. I think that's pretty cool. It's quite nice. Yeah. No game is complete without a fishing minigame. It is true. Almost got him. Yeah, come on. Come on, fishy, fishy. Fishy, fishy. Ooh. Come on. Definitely gets more exciting the closer it gets into you. There we go. I got a shellfish of some kind. Clamfish. Alright. 
Oh, good thing that I found out about that. Yeah. So that's to the left of the village. Or the uh, northwest. What is to the southwest? My death. My death was to the southwest. I keep falling off the edges so damn easily. Oh, that's nice. The pig actually teleports to you. Alright, check down there. Got the lumberjack past here. I'm going to go check the village area one more time, and then I think we'll end the video. Last night's earthquake caused a lot of damage. I'm glad that our neighbors support us so much. Now... <laughs> Yep, I can piss off the chickens. This is definitely a Zelda. I'm Thank loving this. I love it. I love it. Alright, so yeah, now Mayor passed away and his son's taken over. Kitty! Damn it, I can't pet the kitty. Yet. Yeah, devs, let us pet the kitty. Probably shouldn't add too much work onto their plate, but I don't know. Hey, I'm just saying, there is now a Twitter.com that is devoted to if you can pet a dog or not in a game. Or just, in general, get to pet an animal. Yep, that's all I'm saying. Like, this is now the feature the fans want. That is fair. I mean, hell, Hades ended up including it during its early access days. Mm -hmm. Can you pet the dog? Yes, you can. Hmm... I'm gonna assume I get some kind of teleport power because I can move these stones around, but I can't really do anything with them. Yet. Yeah. All right. Well, I'd say that this is adequately explored. Mm hmm So, I think with that, we'll go ahead and end the video. So, thank you all so much for joining us on this demonstration, and, uh... Go check out this game. Give it a try on the demo. See how you feel. And uh, be sure to check out Spindle Game over on Twitter as well, since they were kind enough to, to give us the go-ahead on checking out their demo. And, of course, as always, thank you for watching. And uh, if you want to see more demonstration, be sure to subscribe and like the video. And if you have any other demos that you'd like to suggest to us, be sure to leave them in the comments below. So, yeah. so with that said, hope you all have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.